this is what he said I was born in the rain on the Ponza train Underneath the Louisiana moon I don't mind the strain of a hurricane that comes Good morning, West Monroe. It's Monday, October 2nd. I'm Caroline Cavan, and we're one week away from fall break. These are your morning announcements. We're going to start off with some fun facts for the week. This week is National School Lunch Week. President John F. Kennedy created National School Lunch Week in 1962 to promote the importance of a healthy school lunch in a child's life and the impact it has inside and outside of the pro classroom. The National School Lunch Program serves nearly 30 million children every school day. And here at our school, we have free breakfast and lunch for every student. So today, let's say thank you to those people who work to provide us with school lunches. My favorite part of school lunch is the community. Everyone, no matter who you are, can get a lunch here at school and eat with your friends. And that's a wonderful part of the program and the National School Lunch Week we have in place. Another fun fact from the guidance department, October is college application month. Seniors, when you apply to college, show your senior English teacher your completed application or email confirmation so your name can be placed in a drawing for prizes. We'll begin drawing this week and we'll continue all the month of October. Each Tuesday for the month of October, the counseling department encourages all faculty and students to wear their college gear. Put your favorite colleges on display. We'll also have activities each Tuesday during second period. Teachers in your box this afternoon, you will find the career activity that you will do with your second period class tomorrow. This will be a competition and prizes will be given. We'll have our college and career fair on October 24th from 10.30 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. on the Rebel Board Walk. College recruiters, military personnel, LOSFA, and businesses from all over Louisiana and surrounding states will be here to visit with you. Make plans to attend. We're going to look at our announcements in a little different format this week. So to shake things up, we'll look at announcements by the day rather than by the category. Let's get things started. For Monday, that's today, this is what's going on at West Monroe High School. The volleyball team plays West Washita at 4.30 this afternoon. Good luck, ladies. The freshman and junior varsity football teams play Pineville this afternoon and Rebel Stadium. The first game starts at 5.30 and the second game will follow. In news from guidance, today is the deadline for applications for the Coca-Cola Scholarship. Be sure to get your applications in, and if you need more information, check out the Guidance Department's page on GoRebs.org. Tomorrow, it's Pizza Pig Out Night from 5 to 8 p.m. at both the Warren Drive and Wallace Road locations of Johnny's Pizza. Come out and support your school, enjoy some delicious pizza, and hang out with some fellow Rebels. For those of you in Student Council, you will have to go to the Pizza Pig Out and then head to your meeting from 6 to 8 in the library. Also. If you're heading to support the volleyball team, maybe get some pizza to go on your way out. They play at Alexandria at 5 p.m. tomorrow. On Wednesday, you can start your day off with a formal ceremony. The ROTC will be conducting revel at the flagpole in the Memorial Garden at 7.30 a.m. Also, both FCS and FCA will be meeting at 7.10 in the new gym. And those dual enrollment students who owe overage fees for classes that OSP, OSPB, I'm sorry. And those dual enrollment students who owe overage fees for classes that OPSB isn't covering, this is the deadline for making those payments. Remember, that's this Wednesday. Also, board game club members, you will be meeting Wednesday after school in the library. On Thursday, this is the Biscuits for Books Chicken Biscuit Day. If you purchased a biscuit, stop by and see the librarians before first period to get your biscuit. Eating a biscuit might help out those of you who have registered to participate in the blood drive that is also happening Thursday. Remember, you must be at least 16 years old and you need to see Ms. Nix to pre-register before you donate. Also, the volleyball team will be playing at Evangel at 4 p.m. for those who can travel over to support the team. On Friday, the spirit theme is jerseys. Find the jersey you want to wear and be ready to show your spirit. The football team will be playing at Pineville this Friday night. Also, those of you wanting to take the PSAT, registration closes on Friday for that test. Those of you interested in playing basketball, tryouts are Friday afternoon from 3.30 to 4.30 in the old gym. You can try out and then head to Pineville to support the football team. Remember, you need to see Coach Hill and get some paperwork done, including a physical, before you can try out. This Saturday, students have an opportunity to tour ULM School of Construction Management from 9.30 to 1. Check with our guidance department if you're interested. Before we go, here's a quick recap of the highlights of this week. It's National School Lunch Week, so let's remind ourselves about food first. Pizza Pig Out is Tuesday from 5 to 8 at Johnny's, and Biscuits for Books is Thursday. In sports, the volleyball team plays on the road Monday, Tuesday, and Thursday. Freshman and junior varsity football play tonight at 5.30 here at home, and the varsity team plays Friday night at 7 at Pineville. 
Basketball trials are Friday at 3.30 in the old gym. In other areas, dual enrollment overages are due Wednesday. PSAT registration is due Friday. Student council meets Tuesday at 6 in the library. SES and SEA is Wednesday morning at 7.10. Board game club meeting is Wednesday after school in the library. Reveille at the flagpole is Wednesday morning at 7.30. And the blood drive is Thursday. We want to give a shout out to the cross country team. They competed in Memphis this weekend at the Frank Horton Night Classic. The boys team placed 11th out of 45 teams. And Aniston from the Lady Rebels posted a run time of 22-17. That's all for this week. Just two reminders before we go. Remember to thank those who help us have school lunches. And we're nearing the end of the first nine weeks, so if you have something you need to catch up on or a grade you need to improve, you should start now. Have a great week, Rebels. This is what he said. I was born in the rain on the bunch of train Underneath the Louisiana moon I don't mind the strain of a hurricane They come around every June